If you haven't been living under a log, you've seen stories in the news recently about mysterious superbugs, dangerous bacteria resistant to antibiotics. Well, this health crisis is not such a mystery to me. I live in a confined animal feeding operation, a factory farm closer than you'd think to the suburbs and nearest city, but out of sight for most people and therefore out of mind. That's me, and this is where I live. We're crowded together in wall-to-wall -to -wall pens and never get to see the outdoors. As you might imagine, I'm stressed out and dirty and constantly at risk of getting sick. The food is pretty bad, too. It comes with a dose of antibiotics in it to make me grow faster and help me survive these filthy, overcrowded lots. There are bacteria everywhere in this place, including in my gut. Some of these fellas are harmless, but one thing I will tell you is that they've certainly got a bit of a competitive streak. They compete like crazy for space in here. Every day when I get fed all those antibiotics, the weaker bacteria get knocked out, and the ones that can resist stand victorious and get stronger every day. A growing army of superbugs. This is not just happening inside my belly. It's happening in thousands of factory farms across the United States, day after day. I can only imagine what a perfect storm this system is for spreading antibiotic resistance into the environment. Just look at these huge vents. They're meant to keep us crowded pigs cool, but they blow all that mighty bacteria downwind to neighboring communities. Please excuse the unsavory imagery, but these giant pool lagoons collect all our liquid feces with all that bacteria swimming free. Think that's unappetizing? Well, all that manure has to go somewhere. It gets spread on fields and often washes off into rivers and streams and ends up in your watersheds. These superbugs can actually transfer their powerful antibiotic-resistant traits to other bacteria. Pretty darn creepy, huh? They end up on the meat you eat. And workers might not know it, but these bacteria hitch a ride in their guts too, all the way back to their homes and your communities. Overuse and misuse of important antibiotics in food animals must end in order to protect human health. You can be a part of the solution to fix this. When you purchase meat raised without antibiotics, it sends a clear signal to companies to stop abusing antibiotics. Go to DrugsMakeBugs.org to find out how we all can play a part in protecting our communities and our family's health.